shoes. Jesus loves you guys. That's what we say. We need to raise up our children in the word of God. But when they smell, you know why? Because when the seed of God is in them, in due yeah, season, really like the word of God. it will sprout to spread out. I've got four girls, man, and all my girls are raised them up in the world. My youngest is four. And every night before she goes to bed, she says, Daddy, pray Jesus over me. My four-year-old. Well, she's not four yet till Christmas. But my four-year-old says, Daddy, pray Jesus over me. This is, and even though my older girls back in the UK went out of the rainbow of God, they come back because the seed is in them. When you plant something in good soil, it will reap. It will grow. Hallelujah. And that's the word of God. When you plant the word of God in your heart, the word of God will grow. It will resurrect. It will grow. Because the word of God is life. Jesus' word is life. Hallelujah. That is what I'm saying. There is life in Christ. Give me one of these Bible tracks, man, sir. There is life in Christ, Jesus. Hallelujah. This is why we preach the gospel of Christ. You know what? I've listened to the news today. And in Israel, there's a big war just started. And a lot of bombs are going off in Israel right now. Don't, don't you sense the time we're living in? Israel is being attacked again. We are living in some dangerous times. Look at the economy in this country. The country where I'm from, the UK, is about to enter a recession. Do you know that? We are on the verge of Christ coming and the Antichrist coming in. Because the Bible says when Jesus comes to his bride, the church, the Antichrist, this man of lawlessness, man, take one of these Bible tracks, man, Jesus loves you. Loves you. The lawless one is about to be released. The only reason why it's not is because the, the bride of Christ, no. the church is still here, preaching. Until every soul hears about Christ, the word of God will continue to go up. But the Bible will not be always preached. Preach, street preachers will not be always on the streets. One day all that's going to stop. And you're going to be the system. If you haven't got the mark of the beast, which is the number of man, 666, how are you going to buy food? How are you going to live? You're going to be ruled by a dictator. And he's going to be the lawless one. Hey, uh, he's going to be given power by Satan. Your body's back. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Give that young lady a car for a roof. God loves you. Give that young man a roof. And why was it God? And this is what we say. You can have all the glamours of this world. It looks good, but you're going to die and leave it. In the name of Jesus, you're going to die and leave all this one day. This stuff is temporary. It's good for now, but how long? Do you know how much multi-millionaires have died in California and around the US and around the world and have left their mansions? And their mansions right now just rotting out. Because this stuff in the world is just temporary. God loves you. He loves you and your family. Take on peace and order, man. God loves you, man. And this is why we preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because God loves you. And as we keep saying, he hates sin. Sin is the thing what's keeping you from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sin is the thing what's keeping you from God. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. What's your name, sir? Your name's not ugly. You know Jesus. You do know Jesus. You know that God loves you, man, and he can change your life, you know. But you need to be willing to want to change. He said, I will knock at your heart. But you have to open your heart. Once Christ knocks at your heart, you have to open it. In the name of Jesus. Okay. Lady, what are you doing? Okay. Heard, lady. Oh my gosh, dude. Heard. That's for. And this is what she does. She lets you dance and twerk. That's messed up. In the middle of traffic. Lord have mercy. 
That was tragic. Young lady, young lady, let me give you one of these Bible texts. Jesus loves you. He loves you. He does. He does. He does. But he hates the sin in our life. That's what we try to say. That's what we preach it. That was funny. Yeah, she, she jiggling her butt. You know, know the funny part? He's going to say, at least no people. These are the things people do. Oh, well, he's still doing it, too. And, 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 and they get a kick out of doing these things. Sin allows you to do those things. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We need to pray for everybody who knows so God. Anybody who doesn't know Jesus needs to be prayed for. In fact, they need to repent. That's what they need to do. You know? There's only so much you can pray for person. If somebody doesn't want to change, there's nothing you can do about it. Right. You have to want to change. You have to want salvation. I need three. Young lady, can I give you one of these Bible tracks? Bible track, Jesus Christ. Don't be scared, man. He's not going to bite you, man. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's just the words in there, you know. Like, this is what I'm trying to say. When you're living in sin, man, people get scared of the gospel. Automatically, you get scared of the gospel. Like, it's going to bite them. It's going to bite what they do. It bites the spirit, yeah. It bites the spirit, that's what it does. That's the word I want to yep. It bites your spirit. The gospel bites your spirit. That's why people rather darkness than light. Because the light exposes the darkness in your life. Young man, I'll give you one of these Bible tracks. Just read it, man. It's about Jesus Christ. You got a little cross right in there. Do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe that he died for your sin? Would you die for Christ? Do you know what I mean when I say that? I mean, would you turn away from your sin? Are you living in sin right now? Do you do things but God's not present? Yes or no? Sometimes. So you know when you do things but God's not pleased with you, you know that you sin, right? So, why not say to yourself today, that today is the day of salvation? Today is the day of salvation. Is that your brother, your friend? Your friend? Brother, you don't come out and say, hey, hey, he's taller than you, but you guys are young, man. You got a university or something like that? You got a college? 66, you're taller than me. Yeah, you got uni, got uni or something? And you, and you believe in Jesus, yes? We got to be, listen, you guys are young, man. You don't know when Christ is coming back. He's coming back, man. And this is why we're spreading the gospel. These are my two friends here. I'm near 60 years old. I'm 19. So I'm an old man. He's a young man like you. He's full of the Holy Spirit. He's probably the guy you need to talk to because you know what? I know what young people get up to nowadays because I used to be new age wise. And it's only temporary, man. Sex and everything, drinking, drugs, and it's temporary. And it doesn't do you nothing physically. Spiritually. That's what the devil wants to do. This is why people have. The devil plans is, oh, this is life, this is living. Don't read all these. Let me talk to you. Talk to them. And, and that's what I'm trying to say in the name of Jesus. We must own up to our sin. That's the only way you can receive salvation. Acknowledge that you're a sinner. That's what you're going to do. Like I did. I acknowledged that I was a sinner. And I needed Jesus to help me. So I asked him, Lord, if you're real, come into my life, Lord. And it is. And this time I made this state because of flesh and blood. Paul, even the great apostle Paul said, every day I fight with my flesh. What does he mean? Every day is a fight in the spiritual world. That's what it is. It's because the natural man wants to do the things of the world. The flesh wants to do the things of the world. That's why sometimes he says, you know what? The spirit is weak, but the flesh is strong. But it's got to be the other way around. We need to read the word of God. We need to impart our soul, body, and mind into Christ's word. Because if you're going to have to give it a candle, you're going to have to stand before him. Everybody. Black, white, Latino, young, old, rich, poor. It doesn't matter what community, whether you're LGBTQ, whether you're atheist, whether you're Hindu, Sikh, Muslim, it doesn't matter. You are going to stand before the God who blew the breath into you and you have to give an account for your life on planet Earth. Hallelujah. What would that be? Good afternoon, man. Jesus Christ loves you. It doesn't matter whether you're, you know, you believe in Buddha or not. Read the gospel. Hallelujah. That's the only way that gives you life. When you read the Bible, you can read the Torah, but when you start reading the Bible, the words in the Bible are life or death. 